hope everyone's doing well. I'm uh, testing out the night capabilities of the GoPro. I'm going to take a wild guess and say they're quite a bit better than the Drift. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of a night ride. It's still, it's decently temperate right now. It's like 35, I think. So, you know, nothing serious there. But, uh, so, I had an interesting weekend. Um, Saturday was absolutely fucking beautiful. It was like 50 with only 15, 25 mile an hour winds. So, you know, that it's obviously quite wonderful and uh, I enjoyed that. But I kind of want to talk about what I did and uh, why I, <laughs> I made a mistake and I accidentally left my GoPro on while I was riding on the highway for two hours. And basically, uh, I wanted to get footage of the uh, shop I was going to and picking up tobacco and meeting the diabetic man, uh, which I did not know was him. It was kind of fun. You know what, I'm just gonna leave my visor up. So it was a lot of fun, me and the diabetic man. Uh, he's a YouTube uh, gentleman. Uh, he does like pipe stuff, uh, cigar stuff. I, I don't know if he owns or he just works at a shop down in Milwaukee, but uh, I wanted to pick up a tobacco called Bishop's Move. It was kind of funny. He asked me what I was looking for and he immediately turned around and he was like, so where'd you hear about this? And I was like, yeah, the Dagners, which is another YouTube pipe smoking. I think one of the biggest in a particular genre of YouTube, at least very popular. And uh, I picked up the Bishop Move. I'll, I'll put a picture of the product while I'm talking about it. And uh, maybe I'll also get, it's called, oh, I fucking can't pronounce this shit. Something Yuli Shop, Yule Tea. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but, but he was very helpful. He immediately knew where to look, um, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, it was well received. I gave him a couple of my stickers. He was awesome, you know, to say something. To, you know, he introduced himself. The shop itself looked absolutely amazing. I really wish I could have stayed longer. Unfortunately, that was not the case. I, I had to run down there, basically grab the tobacco and leave. I really wish I could have stayed longer, but that is not the case. So, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the trip down there, but like I said, my GoPro died. So I am actually planning maybe talking to a friend and in a week or two when it's warmer, yeah, definitely less wind. Just two hours on a uh, bike with winds like that was just a pain in the ass. I still enjoyed the ride though. I got, I got the bike to really, when I, mean, I was hitting some high speeds, it was awesome in that regard, most definitely. But uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Talk about my uh, interest in uh, pipe smoking. So uh, that's kind of what this video is gonna be about. So I'm going to uh, go return some red boxes and then I'll be back. So I'll see you guys in a second. So I'm back, just returned red boxes. Um, so, pipe smoking, it, it, it's a pretty big interest of mine. I started oh, oh, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, it really blossomed into something pretty big. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I've tried a few tobaccos. I've even tried making my own tobacco, which is, I think, the best part. <laughs> um, and really, it's, it's, it's all about relaxation and enjoying yourself a little bit. Now, you know, I don't have time to go into the nitpicks of tobacco and uh, pipe smoking and everything that's involved with it. I mean, uh, go ahead and Google it. 
if you want to. It's, it's a lot different than just smoking cigarettes. Okay, and that's all I really at this particular moment are gonna say about it. But that is what it is. You know what, I'm gonna stop here. And uh, that, that's really what it is. It, it's not the same as smoking cigarettes. It just, and that's well, what I'm gonna say. It's, it's, it's about relaxing and enjoying yourself. And we have rights as human beings. And you know, it's just, I, it, it's so calming and so relaxing. It's so enjoyable and, you know, there's, it's ancient, the practice itself. I mean, piping, pipe tobacco, pipe smoking is so old, so old. And it's done by so many uh, important people throughout history and it's, it's, it's a tradition, you know, and that's kind of what makes it, you know, that's why I like about it. And uh, so, but uh, yeah. So, let's see. Kind of yammering, I don't know. I'm just out on my bike enjoying myself at nighttime, kind of. Let's see, so I have Bishop's move. I'd like to try it, but you know, I, I have an idea that I want to run by you guys. So I know being consistent with your videos is incredibly important. So how about a schedule? You know, how about, you know, I, I can talk about pipe smoking and stuff and how I enjoy it, but what about the, what about a schedule that includes pipe smoking? So, you know, how about, how about you do, I don't know, how about Monday, a Monday vlog on the motorcycle, a Wednesday pipe vlog, and then a Friday vlog on the motorcycle. You know, let, let's say I can do on Wednesdays, like, you know how I did the Ask em, or maybe I can swap between one's a, a, a pipe vlog and the other one's a ask him on motorcycle. You know? So, I, I get a schedule. So, I want to talk about pipe smoking, but that's just the subject. It's just enormous, and there's so much, you know. It just sharing the pipes that I have. For instance, the few that I do and the lighters that I have um, would take probably 10 to 15 minutes to be a vlog all by itself. Not to mention, I wouldn't be able to show you them. Like, I put a picture up on the vlog, so what if I actually recorded a video in the sense of, like, a pipe vlog? You know, how would you guys feel about that? Would you like it? Uh, would you not like it? You know? Um, and I know I'm way off track because I was going to talk about uh, actual pipe smoking, but instead I figured, why not just talk about a schedule so we can talk about stuff? So, what do you think of a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule? Three videos a week? Um, I know I have the time and the patience to do that. And uh, it lately, it's purely been the snow and the weather that's prevented me from making videos and learning how to do the GoPro because Lord knows I need help <laughs> to learn how to use the damn GoPro. Um, and my first wire broke on me, unfortunately, so I wasn't even able to get voice in. I was really pissed off about that. But yeah, what do you guys think? Should I do a, um, a, uh, scheduled vlog set? So Mondays and Fridays are vlogs, but Wednesdays can drop between, like, Ask em Wednesdays and Pipe Wednesdays, maybe. You know, I, that name's crazy. But, uh, let me know what you think. 